In this video, we're going to look at how to handle more complex data inside of a Fast API application. So I'll start off again by forking the most recent version, change it to 5. And for this application, or this version rather, going to have a portfolio. And the portfolio, for now, will simply be a Python list. Now, to represent a portfolio or an investment in a portfolio, I'm going to have a coin. And so I'll just create a class up here and call it coin. And the coin will merely have a coin ID, which will be a string, and it will have an a amount owned, which will be, again, a float. Now, when you're using FastAPI, there's a library called Pydantic, and FastAPI makes extensive use of Pydantic. Pydantic performs runtime checking of type annotations. Normally, Python ignores type annotations, but Pydantic makes it possible to check them at runtime. Now, there's this base model class, which I'm going to import, and then coin will inherit from that. All right, now to see how this works, I'm going to run the application and it's not actually going to start the server. The only thing that it's going to do is import this coin class into the console. So now if I look at coin, see that I have access to the coin class. If I want to create a new coin, let's say I want to create a coin for Bitcoin and that's gonna be equal to a coin. There's going to be a coin ID equal to uh, Bitcoin, and then we'll say that the amount owned is 0.5 or one half. And so if I look and see what Bitcoin is, then it shows Bitcoin and one half. There are some interesting properties of the base model. For example, I could say Bitcoin.json, and it'll give you back a JSON representation, or I could say Bitcoin.json dictionary, and it'll give me back a dictionary representation. Now this is useful because I can go into portfolio and I could say that the first item in the portfolio is coin, which is coin ID equal to Bitcoin and owned equals one half. And then if I create a new method, or a new function rather, a new handler function, app.get portfolio, only one I in portfolio, and then have that decorate a function called get portfolio, and then just return the portfolio, what you'll see is that it's automatically going to convert those coin classes or those coin objects in the portfolio list into JSON. So I'll go over to my readme.py and copy my startup command, go to the shell, paste it, return, pop this out into a new tab, and tack docs onto the end of it. Here's get portfolio and try it out. Requires no parameters, hit execute down here. And here is the JSON representation of that list of coin objects.